proud, I'm proud of my team. We battled, um, but you know, first first half we let the game get up, get away from us just with just costly turnovers and and, and poor transition defense. We knew that that if Villanova comes into the game with with um, you know, over half of their team shooting above 38 percent from three, which is which is pretty impressive. So. You know, we wanted one to try to get out and, and, and contain their three-point shooters in, in transition, and, and our turnover has got those guys easy, easy shots in transition. And um, and then our energy went down, and we couldn't, you know, you know, we got disheveled for for a stretch in the first half that really set us back. But in typical LaSalle fashion, we, we battled back in the second half, just fell a little short today. Questions for Saul? Saul is a senior leader on the team. Uh, definitely just staying positive. <clears throat> I think uh, us as a team, we just have to work on you know, our attitudes just the whole game. You know? um, I think just relating to the younger guys, this is a, a teaching moment for them. You know? Just have to stay composed the whole game. So, so the culture of this team now is, is 40 minutes. So uh, how, have your, how, how have you adapted to it in the last two years? And how about the younger guys? What, how are they adapt, adapting to it? Um, I mean, I think it's a pretty easy transition. I mean, Coach Ashley's stressing, he stresses 40 minutes, and that's our like, model. we got to play hard for 40 minutes. So, I mean, every game we're going to give our hearts out for 40 minutes. So, I mean, the transition is easy. That's a soft thing about that side. Any little thing, so. Any little thing, Saul, that, that Villanova did to kind of get you guys out of a little rhythm early? I think uh, them denying us so far out kind of. Uh, disrupted our offense a little bit, so you know they made us drive, make one on one plays and they were they weren't fouling at the rim. So I mean and we just weren't making our layups as much as we wanted to. But so I think that's really was the biggest thing and then I mean we had some, like coach said we had some cost of time was like during the moment of the game, you know, so I think that was really it. Feel like there was a pulse in this building the second you kind of walked in. Say it again? The energy you feel like there was just a like a pulse of this building. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not worried about nothing that's going on in here. I'm just, um, we're here to play our, no matter who we play, we don't we don't care about the outside stuff. So, okay. so big, big picture coming out coming out of the Florida games and then adding this one, where where do you feel like this this team is right now? I mean, I think we're still headed in the right direction, of course. I mean, Florida was great, but that's behind us. We're moving forward now. You know, we had our game today. We came up short, but we're just gonna get back to the lab and get ready for our next game. You know, we just keep thinking ahead and moving forward, so that's all. <clears throat> Anything else for Saul? Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> uh, actually, what was it like to be in here the first time as a head coach? Um, uh, it was, it was, it was cool. It was, um, it was great to just come back. It's, it's actually my first time walking through mm -hmm. this, this part here. I wish I, uh, would have came here in the summertime, so I could have enjoyed it a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, it's, it's always great coming back here. Um, a lot of great memories. Um, probably my most um, uh, exciting time as a as a competitor was during my time here at Villanova. So um, you know, it, it's great to come back here, see the people, see the familiar faces, the people that work the games, Villanova's uh, staff. You know, I'm, I'm I'm great friends with all those guys, so you know it's uh it's it, it's cool to come back here. But um, you know, the biggest thing for me was just to you know try to help my team come out here and compete and and continue to improve. What did you like the most about what your guys did tonight? Well, the, the fact that we don't quit. You know, I, I love that. I love I love the fact that these guys will not quit. And you know, we went into the game, and the referee <laughs> actually told my players. He thought that um, one of my players was saying that we thought we were going to get cheated, mm -hmm. right? One of my players said, we knew this was going to happen. Right. But I told all the guys, we're going to get down in the game. <laughs> so they were saying to each other, like, yo, we knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. And the ref thought that one of our players was saying that they, 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 were, they, they missed the call. But we knew we were going to get down, and we have to get comfortable being down because we're a young team. So we know that we're going to have stretches where we play well, we put our young guys in. I have no idea what they're going to do sometimes. Sometimes they play great, sometimes they don't. But we know that whatever happens, we'll battle back and we'll give ourselves a chance to get back in the game. Mm -hmm. And we came in here with that mindset, 
And our guys lived it. They lived it, man, for 40 minutes. Halftime, down 20 points, came back, made a great run, had some some silly um, things that happened towards the end of the game that, that prevented us from being able to, to make a stronger push at the end. But I'm, I'm happy with, with my guys and their effort tonight. Ashley, you, you've been here in the past, and you know that teams take a couple guys away. That's your beautiful pass hole, and, and you know, obviously the part. Jay said you felt like you were taking Gillespie away. Is that kind of the game plan coming in? Uh, the last three games, I think Colin scored Villanova's first 11 points in each game. So, you know, shame on us if we let him come out here and do that to us for a fourth straight game. So, you know, he's their, he's their only pure point guard that's in the rotation. So we wanted to try to disrupt him by limiting his touches. But a kid like Justin Moore is a big time talent. He stepped up and, and all those guys, they just made plays when when we got extended, they, they, they hurt us early in the game, just running a flat ball screen, those guys getting downhill, driving, scoring, great creating plays, um, you know, which 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 put us on our heels a little bit early in the game. It was a. Uh, you know, it was a uh, it was it was a great strategy on Villanova's part to um, to do that. Obviously, being a few years removed as assistant coach from Villanova, do you feel like it was kind of easier to game plan against some of those guys, knowing that you went out there and recruited? It, it's not that. It's it's more of like we try to do a lot of the same things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to emulate greatness in in a, in a lot of ways, and that's the the ultimate sign of respect that I can show Coach Wright. That you know I try to do some of the things that they do. So you know, I've adopted some of their, some of their you know philosophy. Um, so our guys know some of the things that they do, but they have a completely different personnel than when I was here, um, and they do some things differently than, than they did when I was here. But you know, overall, you know, I, I have a pretty good feel for you know some of the things that they look to do. But obviously, I didn't know everything tonight because uh, <laughs> of the outcome of the game. Can you hate coaching against? Former colleagues as much as Jay does. Pardon me. Do you hate coaching against former colleagues as much as Jay does? I hate, I hate, I hate today more than than anything. Just because I love Villanova so much, I don't, I don't want to compete against them. I, when, when this day is over, I'm, I'm rooting for the Wildcats. Anytime, I'm not rooting for the South. So, it's, it's a difficult day that way because of the respect I have for coach and the rest of the coaching staff and, and everybody associated with Villanova, but. You know, now that it's over, I can go back to being the head coach of LaSalle that roots for the Villanova Wildcats. How do you think your team responded from playing in a in season tournament and going into Big Five play? I think that they responded unbelievably well considering the circumstances that we were under. We got back Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. Guys went home for Thanksgiving, had to get back. And then we had two days to prepare for Villanova. They had a week off, right? So. Um, under the circumstances, I'm 100% pleased with my team, their effort coming out here tonight, battling one of the best teams in college basketball. You got another double-double from Ed you know, after his impressive showing down in Florida. How imperative is it to kind of get him involved in the offense? You know, I, I think what Eddie does well is just get all the miscellaneous points and, 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 and clean up stuff. Like, that's, that's what he does. When, when you go to Eddie, I think it, it's it's really good for our offense. It helps neutralize our, our, our perimeter game a little bit. And Eddie got in foul trouble, so it hurt us in the first half. And then, you know, when you're playing behind, you know, you don't want to play the – like, I know Villanova's a great three-point shooting team. We want to chip it away, chip it away. But we got to get some threes, too, because I know that they're trying to get some. So when you're down, it makes it hard to just pound it inside, pound it inside, knowing that you want to speed the game up, create turnovers, try to get some threes. So. You know, Ed is a huge part of our of, of our, our team, both offensively and defensively, and I'm excited about the way he's developed. How come you took him out right away? That wasn't, I didn't miss it. He gave me a fist. He was tired. Oh, okay. Yeah, early in the game, like, yeah. went a couple possessions, he gave me a fist. Okay. And, you know, I tell our guys, yo, play as hard as you can. If you get tired, give me a fist. I'll get you in and out. And Eddie gave me a fist, so I gave him a blow. Actually, what did you see this team doing specifically in the second half that, that made it? That got you back into the game. I mean, nothing in particular. We just we just said, uh, listen, we're, we're not quitting. The one thing that we did better, I thought we, we we did a better job just guarding the ball. In the first half, I felt like Villanova just drove us and got to the basket at will with 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 minimal resistance. 
So that was the, that was my biggest point of since the halftime. We got to guard the ball. We talked about it early in practice the last two days. I felt like Alabama A&M was great preparation going into this game because they're a team that, that really drives the ball. We knew going into the game that if we got extended on Villanova shooters, it would open us up for them to drive. And they drove us, and they were effective doing it. I thought we did a better job in the second half of defending the ball, and that's what gave us the ability to get some stops and get out in transition and, and, and chip into the lead a little bit. Saul said Florida's behind you. Obviously, you don't want everything behind you uh, from, from Florida. What, what's the biggest takeaways that, that you want to carry through from that trip? We're never out of it. Whether, we're, whether we get up, we've lost leads, 15, 20-point leads. We've been down 20 points and came back. You know, just to establish that mindset. We're still in, in the early stages of, of establishing our program. So there's certain things that you want to, to, to be a part of that foundation. And that, that mindset is something that I want very much so. So every day I just want our guys to continue to take pride in playing 40 minutes of basketball hard and together and, and never quitting, never giving up, and, and doing whatever we have to do. And again, we only got to win by one point each game and to just you know maintain that mindset.